Let's start by standing up. Stand, breathe, and vibrate. <sighs> So the reason why you'd want to start with a couple, maybe two to three breaths while you shake and vibrate is that the neuropeptides that get released from trauma and stress response, even like the kind of stress that you go through during the day at work or whatever, uh, these neuropeptides don't get metabolized. So uh, vibrating, shaking and vibrating while you breathe is a way to move those out of the tissues. So. Then from there, a good follow-up is things that I like to do called loosening exercises. So um, these can be anything like, you know, rotations where you're moving the hips and arms fluidly or more forceful rotations like this and even lateral rotation of the spine. Just trying to be very loose and fluid. Be water, my friend. And you know, even 15 seconds of something like this is a good way to prepare for uh, more intense stuff. And uh, the reason that these kind of movements, rotational movements are important is because we are rotational beings. So despite the fact that modern humans live uh, or work most of their life and do most of their training, uh, just moving front to back in what's called the sagittal plane, actual human movement is primarily rotational in nature and there's also a lot of lateral work that's happening but even something as simple as walking is actually rotational through the hips and spine so we want to do some rotational work if we want to be eating the most nutrient dense uh, movement snacks um, obviously uh, you can continue that kind of work let's go back to this rotation and create a movement snack that you're going to be able to extract a lot of value from just by increasing the velocity of your rotation which can get the heart rate up certainly you could also pick up and grab a medicine ball and by swinging the medicine ball side to side or a dumbbell or even a heavy object from your home a thick book a, a pot pan something like that it's going to increase the challenge on the core now the important thing to remember about any of this rotational work, whether it be the intention that it's gonna be loosening or that it's going to be uh, for you know, improving ex explosional, uh, uh, explosive power technique, is that all that rotation happens around a braced and engaged core. So that's kind of one of the, one of the arts, one of the skills of core function is being able to move fluidly and rotationally while maintaining a braced core that is still adaptable it's uh you know like the bamboo that bends yet doesn't break you know you don't want to be stiff because if you're stiff that's when things snap that's when you have injuries and that's when you also move robotically so it's the art of being able to be supple while you brace the core and engage the core. And it's actually a really cool practice just to go inward, which is a lot what these movement snacks are about is, it's going inward, checking in with your body, you know, disconnecting from the matrix for a moment and going inward to check in with yourself. So, you know, that's another thing. Now, let's say that we've, you know, started off with some breathing, shaking and vibrating a couple breaths, and maybe you wanted to do loosening, Maybe you wanted to do some lateral movement, maybe not. Uh, a, a great movement snack is anything that is engaging your core. And so one of the things that I really like to use for this is different quadruped work. So, you know, quadruped can be getting down on the ground and opposite hand and foot like this. I'm sure you guys have seen the quadruped walk. Another way that I like to do it to mobilize the hips and shoulders a little bit more is a style that's like a giraffe walk, um, which is hips up, or maybe it's an elephant walk, sorry, elephant walk with the hips up. And it's the same movement where opposite hand and foot move together, but because my hips are up in this kind of down dog position, I'm able to mobilize my hips and shoulders 
in a really productive way. So that kind of quadruped movement is great. Now, if I wanted to accentuate the core function here and make this a little bit harder, I can do quadruped stability movements. And what that is, is rather than me moving fluidly more like an animal, it's getting into the position, bracing the core, getting my shoulders and hips parallel to the ground, and then taking opposite hand and foot off the ground and stabilizing, not letting my body move. This is where my core has to work really hard and then switch. Core is having to work hard here, switch. Core is having to work hard. Now, what I can do is use another little movement snack here, slide this leg under, plant the feet down flat, bridge the hips up straight, and keep my shoulders perpendicular to the ground. I'm reaching my top arm out in front of me so that my arms make a right angle while my hips are as parallel to the ground as I can get them. And I'll press up there, breathe into my diaphragm, breathe into my thoracic spine, and I'll get a lot of good thoracic mobility here, as well as glute activation and opening the hips, which is great for undoing what desk life like this does to you. See, desk life is where your core is turned off, you're rounding, if you're really into what you're doing, your head is also moving forward to look at your screen, or if you're angry or stressed about what you're doing, your head's moving in. And so we get these thoracic spines that get locked up and what, and we also get these hips that are always in flexion here. So the thoracic, the thoracic uh, bridge is a great way to open up the thoracic spine, open up the hips. And if you pair it with that quadruped stability, you're also getting a lot of great core work here. So if I were going to go back and show you the whole thing put together, I might get down here. So I'm gonna take left hand, right foot off the ground, stabilize it for three to five seconds, really own it, slide this leg under, transition, bridge, and then hold for maybe one deep breath and, and really stay here until the exhale's full and try to get more thoracic movement, come back under, stabilize the position, again, nail it, and then go to the other side and do the same exact thing. Bridge those hips up, keep the shoulders perpendicular to the ground, and then come back under.